This one's a doozy. <laughs> the Iron Mountains. This is uh, quite Wait. a long level. Why do they have to let us through? This isn't a sanctuary. Oh, but uh, but That's it is. Weird. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I have no idea why. Apparently it kind of is a sanctuary because this is where we get our uh, final mask. Yep, this is the fourth mask and it's not in a sanctuary for whatever reason. I guess we'll find out once we go through the door. Yeah, no, I don't know. But, um... Huh. It's kind of weird. Like, didn't, I feel like we just got a mask. Yeah. Like, maybe two levels ago? I think they were, um... They had all these levels planned out, and then they're like, we'll call this one the sanctuary, and we'll put the mask in here. And then they're like, oh, crap, we don't... Uh, Oh dang, we, we don't have enough space to, like... We used up all the data with pretty graphics. Yeah. All these textures. We're like, whatever, whatever, we'll just throw the mask into this one. And all of our awesome music. Yep. Oh, uh oh. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> so this, this really is a doozy of a level. Oh my god. It's, yeah, uh, it goes on for a while. It's a pretty long level. It's, um... It's probably the biggest level, I think, besides the very last one. Um, maybe. Because I guess the, uh, what was it, the Sanctuary of Rock and Lava, was it, that I had to split into two? Yeah, no, that one was, um, it was it about It was pretty same. long, but I think it was mostly because we had to do so much backtracking. Yeah, no, no, no. This it, one is actually just a really, bigger overall. Yeah, this is a huge kind of level. Um, but I and think... it's it's essentially I would say split into three parts. Yeah, it's like three levels, and they just made them all into one level really quick because they, I don't know, maybe they didn't have enough time to flesh out all these level ideas, and so they just combined them. It seems like a good explanation. No, oh, here's a great part of the uh, level. Don't worry, I edited this. So. Oh, okay, good. You have to hit these switches, and as you can see. He just does not really reliably hit them. Oh, so I edited to a part we already had one hit, and then you just all you gotta do is just shoot at it. And yeah, no, it's really weird timing, and I can never get it right. All you gotta do is just there, there you, you go. go. Okay, thank God. But yeah, it can take like forever. I'm pretty sure it took like a minute and a half at least when we did that. Uh. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> this robot just comes out of nowhere and tries to destroy us. Don't they all do that though? Uh, yeah. They all really just said, hey, here's a robot. Like, check it out. <laughs> what? Yeah. Where'd you come from? This robot's really annoying. He is. And he doesn't even get any fight music. I know, he doesn't even, like, move at all. He just kind of, like, stands there. Let's get a golden fist and really fuck him up. Good idea. Oh yeah, your days are numbered, robot. Oh. What the? Apparently not. Hey, it's an actual... Maybe, maybe he killed himself, too. No, it's an actual instant kill. Wow, yeah. that was that was ridiculous. Yeah, so um, if a robot burrows underground and then he burrows back up underneath you, you just die. That's... Yeah, and that, wow, that's... that was a game over screen there. That's what that looks like. It just <laughs> says try again. That's really kind of uh, shocking, actually, that that's a thing. Yeah, and then I was not very happy with that guy. So. <laughs> I wouldn't be either. It, it seems like the most pointless thing to make just a complete game over kind of thing. Yeah, I feel like it could have just hurt me and pushed me a little bit so that I wouldn't be occupying the same spot as him. But nope, you're dead. Nope. <laughs> Hey, another one. Don't let it burrow underneath you. Oh. That first guy had some robot fight music, but then the second guy changed it when he showed up. Nice. Okay, well, they're both dead. Now it's completely they solid. took away some of our golden fists, though. No, oh, dang. <laughs> Man, these... I... Are these boxes, like... Attached in some way, they have to be. <laughs> I have no idea. Because that would not work. No, no, no. It's 
it's um what do, what do you call it? Magic. There you go. That's that's oh. how they stay up like that. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Everything in this game is magic. Yeah, you know. Like how that bridge stays up even though it's not connected to another thing. It's magic. Yeah, oh, how, that's fine. You know how the uh in the last episode there was a uh, robot that floated in from out of nowhere with a parachute? Yeah. Magic. That's magic. Oh, that's right. He probably got magically teleported there. Yeah, magic and then parachute. Just parachuted down. Yeah. Who knows? So wind. Is there can, a thing can, here? Nope. No. Oops. Sorry, everybody. Oh, but then there's ruined the let's play. <laughs> yep, completely. So wind, like I was saying. Yeah, you can see it. Those yep. lines indicate wind. Yep. And also these cool, like water spouts. Yeah. It's pretty neat. So this is like rushing, uh, rushing water, but if you touch it, you die. Yep. You can't swim in this. Um, Kill that guy, and then we're slightly too high up to hit that cage. Yeah, no, just slightly. And then, oh, here, we can totally hit it. Oh, no, you have to jump. Yeah. Whatever. We're getting up there in cages. We've almost got all of them. Yep. Okay. This part can be a little bit finicky, because <laughs> uh, I don't know what the deal is, but if you don't jump just perfectly you completely yeah you completely miss this like little parachute box it always looks like you're gonna make it to the balloon but sometimes you just you're not close enough yeah you just don't the game just doesn't like you cool now we're floating on a balloon over to some place yep what fun we're probably actually going into the iron mountains now because now we have this thing. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, probably the best part of the game. And look, some men hers. Men here? Men hire? Those are what those are, apparently. I learned that. Yeah. Really? So that's, that's what I take away from this Let's Play. <laughs> you know, you remember that? The couple people posted in the thread that we were wondering what men here's were. And they're, they were those weird shaped rocks. Oh. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. They totally... So, now we're in the Space Pirate um, Daycare, I guess. <laughs> space Pirate Daycare? Well, it said Reformatory for Disturbing Children, so... Yeah, I guess. That's pretty much what that is. Yeah, all children are kind of disturbing. But wait, that door... We gotta... We gotta... Oh. Okay. Never mind, we're, we're, we're going back there. I'm glad. I'm very glad. No, not there. Just, just checking. There's nothing <laughs> around here. Just in case anybody was wondering. Hmm, what so. should we do? Hey, it's Globox's kids. Cool. We saved them. <laughs> they had nothing to say, or they just went over there. All right. <laughs> so that clever little edit job is because this next part is well it's fun it's ridiculous but it's it's kind of it gets kind of crazy yeah as you can see here so basically this sort of stuff happens <laughs> with these things you can just run anywhere wherever you want yeah and sometimes not even on a thing and then it just works like <laughs> yeah. that what was that yep no we're up here don't worry why okay. would you even question it and there's a couple of rooms on here, but like the draw distance is kind of far, so you can't. Well, I guess the draw distance isn't far; it's close, but you yeah. can't see them from a distance, so you end up just riding on all corners and only finding a couple of looms. Yeah, they're all like five looms, though, is the thing. Again, just bad loom spacing. Yep. Oh, oh. But then you do fun stuff like this. No, wait, wait. I think I we got it. We got we're, it. We're okay. good. No okay. problems. Thank God. That was kind of scary. So really, like, I don't know, it's just fun to run around on this level and try to do weird, stupid things with the riding shell like that. No, it's the most fun. I think I got it one time where I could, uh, actually was running around the entire island of this place with <laughs> just this shell. It was pretty great. So if 
If the rest of our Let's Play has not convinced you to buy Rayman 2, this should. Like, <laughs> just play this level. Get to this level and never finish it. Yep, no, it's the greatest level. You can just kind of run around. You can just listen to the awesome music, do weird aerial maneuvers with the riding shell. Yeah, no, it's the greatest level. That's really all there is to say on the matter. <laughs> hey look, it's Golux's kid. We saved even more of them, hooray. Yeah. Are the same ones? Um, no. Because okay. they're there even if you don't open that door. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this guy. <gasps> what does he do, though? It looks like he's gonna kill us. Yeah, no. <laughs> but we're fine. Yeah, no, no problems. We made it. <laughs> we got this. We got him. So yeah, there's a, there's a loom underneath each one of those, and the way to get them is lure this guy to kicking them over. <laughs> and then ride back over to it. Yeah, they're it's kind of it's tedious. ridiculous. They're the they're like the worst looms to get in this level. There. And we're not gonna get that one, are we? No. Just we get so close. <laughs> oh darn! Do we ever get it? You're not gonna see us get it, but you know where it is. So oh. who cares? Yeah. Anyway. I didn't want to ruin this recording by just try and get that like five more times or something. <laughs> no, no, no. It makes perfect sense. Don't worry. So that was part two of it, and here's the third part of the level. Yeah. This is... Um... Simultaneously, this level is like the coolest level and then the worst level. Because <laughs> that riding shell part, man, that was awesome. Yeah, no, right? no, no. It was This really, next part, really I'm not going to spoil it. Not very fun. Yeah, no. The riding shell part was really awesome. Like... Because before, you know, you only ride them in a straight line. They blow up all the time. And then you can finally just get one and ride around everywhere. Yeah, and just do weird, like, oops, I ran off the level, but I sort of, what? Now I'm back. It's turn, all good. Yep, just turn yourself around and completely, like, run around the level again. <laughs> Now we're just in the midst of sludge and... Yeah. Yeah. You know, back in the regular level. Hey look, that loom, that was the only one that I missed. Huh. That must have been really annoying going back and getting all those looms. Yeah, because like, it's just <laughs> go back and play an entire level to only get one loom that's like at the end of the level. Yeah, no, that would be really obnoxious. But oh well, it's all done now. Yeah, yeah. Man, hey, look, some ships. It's and, like, whoop. Oh, okay. There's a hole there. Yeah, apparently. You can't really see it that well. <laughs> it's, this part is just kind of, it's a little bit too dark. That's yeah. my only problem with this little platforming bit here. It's kind of like a uh, a little graveyard of ships is, is the thing. That's what it seems like. Well, I don't know. There's a crashed one and then a non-crashed one. I guess, yeah. Oh my god. What, what was that? It, what did you say? She's so... Oh, my babies. She's so beautiful. Is it... There's no way this is Globox's girlfriend. It's... It's Uglette? There's no way. She's way too pretty for him. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Man, I am so jealous of Globox. <laughs> Look at this beauty. <laughs> oh, Globox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we mention uh, Rayman knows how to pilot space pirate ships? No, no, yeah, exactly. See, you know, before when I said he was made by the pirates, he totally was. Yeah. So, yeah, now we get to fly this ship, and when you hit the shoot button, it shoots out of the top of that crow's nest there. I don't know if they have a gun up there, or if you're just, like, commanding a guy and he listens to you. Apparently, I and here's don't... here's what you do: you go to these mines, and you save all the glow box kids. Yeah. Nobody's guarding them; and they they're have, just they have hundreds of them. Like, did you notice that they're just in these? Nobody's like when you stop there. Nobody tries to stop them from getting onto the ship. They didn't, don't care. Didn't they just kind of wander into the mines? Is this the thing? Oh no! What do we do? I was pretty sure they got captured, because 
the other ones were captured. So yeah, yeah. This, what, you've seen all of the gameplay that you're about to see. And it's pretty awful. It's the you, most annoying, like, ship to turn. You get Globox kids, you go through these narrow passageways. <laughs> and if you, you just kind of touch things, you just end up being destroyed. I'm pretty sure the hitbox is, like, quite a bit larger than the actual ship. Cause yeah, no. You don't touch things and it's just, oh, it hurts. It would have to be. <laughs> I like how that maneuver was just pulled. Yeah, why can't we do stuff like that when we're controlling it? <laughs> Just, oh, I need to be down more now. Whoop. <laughs> it's also really obnoxious that the, uh, the little, like, noise it makes, the turning noise, creaking and whatnot, anytime you turn, it makes that noise. <laughs> Even just these tiny little, I don't want to hit the wall turns. Yeah, it's just like... Maybe that's why they're crashed everywhere. These are shitty ships. <laughs> they're the worst ships. They're made out of wood. Yeah, that's not good for space travel. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Oh, uh, what idiots. I'm actually kind of curious how they were able to make, like, wooden guns, though. I wonder if all the robots are made out of wood, but they just, like, are painted steel. Or Magic. painted to look like it. Magic. <laughs> Everything, the answer is magic. Yeah. This also is a really confusing place. If you uh, make a wrong turn, you end up just going in circles for hours. Or maybe not hours, but for quite a long time. But you could go in circles for hours, I mean, if you really wanted. I guess you could potentially do that, but I think you'd realize it after a while that you were going in circles. Or you would just crash because being near things makes your ship break. Yep, no, exactly. But oh hey, look, it's the last mine. So, so have you been keeping count? I think we probably have like 60 or 70 kids. There's so many kids. And every time you get all of them, there's just this small moment of victory. Yeah, way to go, man. We got all these squeaky little kids. Nice. Just gotta break this guy. Yeah, take that. I also like how the whoever was in those places, like firing at you, none of them hit you at all. You've been damaged more by just running into the walls. Yeah, I've been damaged a lot by the walls. <laughs> Ooh, exciting gameplay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. If only the whole game could be this. This kind of makes me glad that they only dwelled into these kind of things every once in a while. I feel like they should have done this, and then the second part would have been the third part. Yeah, no. Because it would have made been, up for it, and it then would, it would have been really fun. It definitely would have. Oh, man. Are we going to make it back uh, to the beginning? I don't know. I think we're probably just going to blow up. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh is that the end? I think so. Yep. I think we're good. No, no, we're at the end. Don't worry. <laughs> and look, <laughs> the water doesn't hurt you, it just makes you stop, I yep. guess. Yep, yep. That's irresponsible, Rayman. Don't let that kid sit out there. <laughs> He's gonna die. We're all gonna fall. What? What? Did they, what? Did you see how they were just sort of shaking? Yeah. That's now they're all gone. Sense. What the heck? Where'd they all go? My baby! Yay! Check it out! Here are all of the babies. There's so many of them. Oh, I didn't realize I had so many babies. <laughs> this is kind of terrifying. It's just like, oh, maybe I should keep track of some things. What the? What? Who is this kid? Why does he just... Is that really what I think it is? It was just in the mine? There was no... Palocus, did you even try to hide that one? <laughs> He's like, whatever. He was like, I'm going to put all these in sanctuaries, but then they're going to be looking for a sanctuary for the fourth one. I'll put it in a mine. <laughs> I'm going to trick them. They're not even going to know. Hello! Oh. <laughs> cool. Well, 
there we go. The final mask. Oh. Oh my god. His eyes look so beautiful. This one doesn't even look like the boss even remotely. That boss was a pirate ship. And we had to pilot it, and it was the, more, the look, most yeah. difficult boss fight ever. It looks more like the glow boxes. <laughs> maybe, maybe one of them was a boss. I just thought of that. The glow boxes. Maybe we should have a show called the glow boxes. Not. <laughs> Come on. Hey, honey, what are you doing? <laughs> Maximum energy, nice. We're going Super Saiyan. Yeah. So. This is pretty exciting, though. We just, that was the final mask, and now we're going to go to the pirate ship where Razorbeard is? Yeah. That's awesome. Ooh, what's going on? Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool. Crazy. Okay, hop in there. Yep. Uh. <laughs> okay. Here I go. I don't know. It looks pretty scary. Maybe we need to test it. No, go quickly and have no fear. That seems okay. That <laughs> seems safe. I wonder if that... I just put my nose in it. It's fine. That's how he, like, checks to see if uh, something is hot or something. He's yeah, like, oh, it... gotta go dip in this pool. Hmm. That's pretty is cold. Is my soup hot enough? <laughs> yeah, it seems fine. 